What is up guys, Johnny here. I'm back with more Shadowgun Legends. In today's video, we look at the upcoming event. It's a PvP event this time. And I don't know why I'm not surprised because we did speculate uh, earlier last week about maybe the possibilities that the next event would be maybe a duels event. They released another comic last week. Last week on Chef of Death, they would talk about the robot Choppy that makes the food in the hub. And we started talking about it. Is it related to the next event? Because last time they did a comic, it was for the Blue Balls event. And they released the comic just a little bit before the start of the event. Also, the Captain Blue Balls was a two weeks event. Now, uh, Chef of Dead, there's a shotgun in there. Uh, we saw Choppy with the old Star Skull shotgun. So people speculated that maybe they would bring back the Star Skull shotgun. Uh, also, because of the story, it looked like it was gonna be duels because they are fighting to that. Uh, this is like the semi-final and then moving to the finals, uh, robot versus robot. So we did talk about it a little bit and some people started guessing probably the next event will be a PvP event. Well, apparently it does not look like it's gonna be related to the Chef comic. They will release more to the story next week, but the info I got, it doesn't look like it's gonna be duels. So the name of the event is Pedal to the Metal. And I don't know if it's a typo or if it's really like that, but Pedal to the Metal is spelled uh, Metal, M-E-D-A-L. Uh, so maybe it's gonna have something to do with earning ribbons and medals in PvP, which is possible. Uh, the info I got also on top that is gonna last two weeks, it's gonna be tied to all PvP modes. So we'll have to do Team PvP and 1v1s. I don't know if you guys remember in the previous PvP events, but we had quests or missions to do, like uh, play two duels or play three duels, win two duels in a row. Uh, there was some duels only. And there's also some team PvP challenges that we had to do, like deal uh, X amount of damage, uh, do five or 10 kills with skills and stuff like that. In every challenge or mission we had to do, we would get some fame and we get some free war points. So it looks like it's gonna be another event like that, but maybe there will be more to it. One thing that's important to know is it is your last day to get full bar or the Shatterer shotgun. They will be removed from the shop tomorrow, probably at night with the shop refresh at 7 p.m. Eastern or 8 p.m. Eastern. Uh, usually when an event starts, it takes two shop refresh for the new items to appear at Nitro shop. Now they will remove these two to make room for the new weapons. We'll have two new epic weapons introduced in the shop. These are the new weapons that we should see tomorrow. The candy rocket launcher and the grid lock. It looks like an AR, probably a reskin of some of your popular generic epic ARs. But we know nothing about the stats yet. We know with the previous uh, released new legendary, the devs really try something different on that one. Uh, I remember the sniper is super high fire rate with low damage. And the SMG is a burst SMG uh, with very high damage also, but uh, bad accuracy. So I don't know about these. Maybe they're going to try something new. Uh, I don't remember having a lot of rocket launchers at Nitro's. I know there was one for the, um, the Voltaic Fist event. I don't remember the name. Fistful of Nukes. Uh, there was a pretty cool rocket launcher. I mean, we had rocket launchers in events previously. Pretty sure the Captain Blue Ball, the first event, also had one. But anyways, another rocket launcher. Interesting. I uh, cannot wait to see the stats. But interested about the AR. Is it going to be a burst? Is it going to be special? Uh, colorful for sure. But we'll see tomorrow, I guess. That is pretty much all we have, guys. They want us to speculate and they want us to have surprise. So all we know, two weeks event, PvP event, all game modes, and that's it. We don't know if the missions will be repeatable for a whole two weeks. That would be interesting. As I remember in the previous events, when the missions are repeatable, it means you get a bunch of war points. And it's usually it's easy war points because they kind of nerf the requirements on the previous PvP events. It used to be pretty hard for uh, average players or casual PvP players. Some of the missions were really hard to, to, to succeed. But when they nerfed it, it was accessible for everyone. 
and it was a good chance to stock on warpoint so i'm looking forward for that one and anytime we have a new pvp event it always brings life to the pvp and uh it should be interesting so i will be playing more pvp in the next two weeks looking forward to the new event leave me a comment below guys what are you guys uh, speculations on the next event and what are you guys looking forward to i will be back soon till then watch my other videos thanks for watching take care killing time This is mine.